It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Today, I want to give you my opinion on which is the best cover crop for weed suppression. I think cover crops is one of the most unused tools in the vegetable garden. It is a good tool that we've been using for probably three or four years now, and I really like it. Now, I want to try to explain to you today a little bit about cover crops because there's a difference between summer cover crops and winter cover crops. Now, I want you to look here. This here is buckwheat. I planted this buckwheat four days ago. Now, I have watered it, but I want you to look at it coming up. Also, sorghum sedan grass. Four days and look at it. These summer cover crops grow absolutely amazingly fast. Man, they get up and go. They get a little moisture, they'll be up in no time. They grow real quick. And that's what's so great about them. And each one of them has their different benefits or attributes. Now over here, I went ahead and jumped the gun a little bit. And I planted me some mustard. Mustard is considered a cool season crop. Now you can tell it was planted at the same time four days ago and it hadn't grown quite as much as the summer, summer cover crops have. However, I think it'll do fine. With these summer cover crops, they grow quick. And one of the good things about them is, is they can suppress weeds. Weeds such as pigweed, such as nutgrass, some of those aggravating weeds that we have so much trouble with in the home garden. Now, the big commercial farmers have jumped on the bandwagon and are using a lot of these cover crops. But the home gardener doesn't seem to use them a whole lot. And there is a different strategy behind it. You got to think about them different and you got to treat them differently because we don't have the equipment or machinery to deal with some of these cover crops when they get real big. And I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh, look at there. Now this right here is sun hemp. Now I planted this out in my pasture probably about 80, 85 days ago. I want you to look how tall it is. Now, to give you an idea, I'm about 6'3". And look at there. This stuff's every bit of seven, eight foot tall. Now this, I think, in my humble opinion, is the best cover crop for weed suppression. Now look at there. I planted it kind of thick, which is exactly what you want to do, but there is no way a weed can grow in there. It shades it out. Sun hemp grows really quick. Now here's the deal. It's got a couple of issues that we need to talk about. As you probably figured by now, I really like sun hemp, but one of the problems with sun hemp is it gets very woody and stemmy as it gets old, it gets hard to get rid of. Look at there. It'll get woody in there. It's hard to cut down. It takes a long time to decompose. So with sun hemp, where the farmers let this stuff get real big and they'll let it flower a little bit, it has a pretty yellow flower on it. In the home garden, you got to treat it completely different. After about 45 days, when it gets up about waist high and it's growing real good, that's when you need to cut it in. And the reason is, is because we're limited on the equipment that we have. Now, I will come in here with a rotary mower and cut this down, but I can't get a rotary mower in my garden. So I have to rely on a lawnmower or my flail mower on my BCS. And that's gonna really give this stuff trouble. So, what I'll do is let it get about waist high in the garden, and I'll go in there and cut it up real fine, chop it in, and incorporate it back in the soil. And it don't take near as long to break down where I can get back in there and plant my garden. If you let this stuff get about 70, 80 days old as this is, you can run into some issues. This stuff flowers, a nice yellow flower. See if I can find one that's flowering somewhere. It has a nice yellow flower on it after about, I don't know, probably about 70, 80 days. It starts putting on that nice flower at the top. You really don't have to worry about sun hemp going to seed like you do with buckwheat. It's a long season crop to make a viable seed, so you don't have to worry about that. You just got to worry about the stem getting woody on you. Now, sun hemp's great for weed suppression. You can see how clean it is in there. 
I really have a problem with pigweed. There's not the first pigweed in this patch of sun hemp. So it shades it out real nice. Now your other cover crops such as buckwheat are great for pollinators. They don't shade out the weeds quite as well as sun hemp does. But they flower a lot and they're great for bringing your pollinators in. They're good scavengers for certain nutrients. And they don't grow quite as tall as what this does. And you got to worry about seed. You got to cut those in before they go to seed. Sorghum sedan grass. It's probably second on my list for weed suppression. It makes a nice thick mat. It doesn't get very big. You don't have to worry about it going to seed. And then you got millet, which is just an all around good cover crop. But if you got such things as pigweed and other invasive weeds, you want to use this here sun hemp. Cut it in early. A lot of people think, well, I don't have time to get a cover crop in. Well, you know, from the time you plant some of the sun hemp to the time you need to cut it in, you're talking 30, 45 days at the most in a garden situation. So that's plenty of time to work it in before your fall planting or if you're doing something in the summertime when your spring garden gets over with and you need to fill up a little gap before you start that fall garden, sun hemp's a perfect cover crop for that. All right, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe. Hit that red button below. We'll see you next week.